Okay, so this is my 20 watt solar panel. Uh, I thought I'd rush up onto the roof while we had a little bit of sun so I can show you the actual output on a typical day. It's about half past three, so the sun's starting to move uh, across the sky, so it's not directly facing at the sun. But hopefully it'll give you a better idea of how, uh, how much power you can actually make off one of these in the UK, which is not known for massive amounts of sun. Okay, so those are the specs on the back of the panel. Uh, for those that are interested, rather than me just reeling them all off to you. Okay, this is what we've got on the inside. Uh, this is my Morningstar uh, MPPT 60, 60 amp that stands for, charge controller. Quite expensive, but probably a good investment for the future, at least I'm hoping. Uh, this gives you the stats live of what's going on with the panel. I've literally just come down off the roof. Um, so I can show you this as quickly as possible. We can see we're making 11 watts up here in the top right. Um, <coughs> the rest is showing uh, status of my battery. Uh, it's 14.2 volts, so it's gone into the absorb mode. And the temperature in the middle, because it's this charge controller um, changes the charge parameters depending on the temperature of the batteries as a remote temperature sensor. Well, it's not that remote, it's just here on the battery bank that I have. Uh, it's four gel batteries uh, parallel together for a one big 12 volt bank. Another good feature about this charge controller is you can uh, it actually has a logging function. So if I go down through all the settings, see log data, select that. So you, it logs a variety of different things. You can connect it with a piece of software that they provide to a computer to, to change what it logs. Uh, I haven't bothered to do that yet, um, <coughs> but I will do it at some point. You can see the things it's logging, like amp hours, watt hours. The one I'm paying the most attention to is watt hours. Um, trying to figure out how much, on average, I get from a 20 watt panel um, every day. So you can see today, so far, we've got 60. Uh, it is quite sunny outside as well, um, so we're probably on track to probably get about maybe 90 today or 100 or something. Uh, so you can see yesterday 100, 110 that day, 30 and 0. It was clearly a couple of days where it was raining or very cloudy. Don't know about the 0, that's very unusual. Actually, I want to be... Yeah, 2 amp... 0.2 amp hours. So that's a tiny amount of power. It's not really useful for anything. Yeah, I have noticed that the watt hours... Uh, is a little less precise because it rounds to the 10. Um, <coughs> so I have a spreadsheet with all these laid out in them so I can see how much power I'm making in uh, each month. That was a good one, 130. Uh, I think 130 is the most while I've been flicking through, not paying attention. Somebody's probably spotted a bigger one, but 130 is, is quite a lot. Um, but we have been having some good weather lately. Um, so, you know, I did an average. The average is about, well, it's 87 point something, but about 90 is the average. We're currently in summer, though. So, um, it'll be interesting to do a similar video in the winter to see what different results we get. I'm assuming it's going to be tiny compared to this. Um, but by then, hopefully, I should be getting some bigger panels and more panels. Um, but I'll, I'll get around to doing a video of that probably when that happens if people are interested. I did just have a quick look through the logs um, just to see if it had a maximum watts produced from the panel um, logged for each day. I thought it would be quite interesting um, but it doesn't unfortunately. I'm pretty sure that's something you can tell it to log if you use the software to, <coughs> um, to start to log that. Uh, but it, it doesn't have it on currently, unfortunately. The most I've ever seen it at, we well, can see we're on 17 now, um, which isn't bad. I, I have actually seen it go over 20 watts before. Uh, it was midday, it was about 23, I think. 23 watts is the most I've seen. But, you know, I don't see her watching this all the time, so I wouldn't be surprised if it got up to maybe 25. I do have a monocrystalline solar panel. Uh, and they tend to be better at making a bit more, that little bit extra of uh, the polys uh, out of the sun. Okay, so that 
this is the first video I've uploaded. Um, I've got a few ideas for a few more I might want to do as well. Feel free, free to ask any questions you want uh, in the comments section. Uh, I can always make a video to try and answer them as best as I can. Um, I'll probably be doing a video about my battery bank, I would imagine, soon. It was quite it was quite a good deal, really. Second-hand batteries, um, they were about £30 each, uh, which is good for this kind of battery. They are used, but there's plenty of life still left in them. I've also got a lot of uh, 18650 uh, cells, laptop type cells that I've been messing around with. Um, stripping down laptop batteries to get them out, so I'll probably be doing some videos on those shortly as well. So thank you very much for watching.